So we had talked about percents. Now we're going to continue talking about percents, but these are going to look a little different. So if we look at this, that each one of these large boxes has 100 squares in it. Okay, so we're looking at two large boxes, each with 100. Thinking to what we were talking about with just percents, if we have all of the boxes filled in in one box, so we have 100 squares filled in, that would mean for this box there are 100% of the boxes filled in. Now if we look over here, we have 5 rows of 10 filled in, 5 rows not. So that means we have 50 out of 100, which is the 50%. Okay, so 100% in this box, 50% in this box. If we put these together, that means in all, we have 150% shaded. Okay, now, a lot of times when you see this, it'll be talking about um, something is growing. Okay, like you earn 150% of your previous salary. So you take what you had before and you've added 50% to it. Okay, so these do come up in real life. So now let's look at these problems. So it says write 124% as a decimal and a fraction. This is basically what we've been doing before just with regular fractions. That if you are given a percent, to write it as a decimal, you move your decimal place two places to the left, or you divide it by 100. So with 124%, the decimal is after the 4, so we move it two places to the left, so as a decimal, it's 1.24, okay? Now, thinking back to when we were talking about decimals and fractions, that we want to change 1.24 to a fraction. So remember, this is a whole, okay, and the decimal is a part of another whole. So when we write our fraction for these, we're going to have a mixed number, okay? And we did this back with decimals, when we changed between decimals and fractions. That Think back to when we had the boxes. We had one whole box and a part of another. So it would be one and one half, okay? So let's figure out what this one would be as a fraction. So whatever's to the left of our decimal is going to be the whole part of our mixed number. So it's 1. Then thinking back, how do we change 24 hundredths into a fraction? Well, remember, tenths, hundredths. So it's 24 over 100. Okay? Go ahead and simplify. That Let's start by dividing both of these by 2. So that would be 1 and 12 fiftieths. Oh, I can still divide by 2. So that is 1 and 6 25ths. Okay? And I can't simplify anymore. So 124% is the same as 1.24, which is the same as 1 and 6 25ths. Okay. I want you to try this one on your own. Look back at how we did this one. Think back to how we did decimals and fractions. When you get it finished, go ahead and play and we'll check it. Okay, so 248% as a decimal would be 2.48. Then we need to change this decimal into a fraction. The 2 is our whole number, so it will be 2. We have 48 hundredths. Or remember, it's 48%, so it's 48 over 100. Again, we can simplify. Let me get a little darker color here. So let's divide by 2. So that would be 2 and 24 over 50. I can still divide by 2. 2 and 12, 25 ths And I can't simplify anymore. Whoop. So it's 2 and 12 25ths. Alright? So now let's go on. Now let's go the other way. So we have a mixed number that we want to write as a fraction. Okay? There's a couple different ways you can look at this. What I would do is that first let's change this to a decimal. So for 7 and 3 fourths, to change that to a decimal, 
I know it's going to be 7 point something. So I need to change the 3 fourths to a decimal. And I do that by taking 3 divided by 4, and you get 0.75. So here's my 3 fourths. Here's the 7. So 7 and 3 fourths as a decimal is 7.75. Now, changing a decimal to a percent, we need to multiply by 100 or move our decimal two places to the right. So this would be 775%. If you have a mixed number, you should have a percent greater than 100. And notice this big number is the hundreds place. Okay? So now I'll try this one. Press play when you're ready. Okay, so 2 and 1 fifth. My 2 is my big number, so it'll be 2 point. If I take 1 and divide it by 5, let me double check myself. You get 0.2. So 2 and 1 fifth as a decimal is 2.2. Now, changing this to a percent, be careful. We have to move our decimal place two places to the right. Oh, we have our valley that we need to fill in with a zero. So this will be 220%. So remember, this is a mixed number, so our percent should be greater than 100. All right, so we've been talking about very large fractions. Now we're going to, or percents. Now we're going to talk about very small percents. So we want to write two tenths of a percent as a decimal and a fraction. Again, these are working the same way. You're just having to kind of synthesize a couple different things. So to change a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal place two places to the left. So here, this is, going to, whoops, this is going to make it a very big decimal. Okay, so two places to the left would be 0 .002. Because we would be moving those two places, we'd have two valleys to fill in. Okay, so this is it as a decimal. Move it two places to the left, just like we've done with every other percent to write as a decimal. Now, going to a fraction, let's look at this. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So think of our place value. So this will be two thousandths. Okay, we did this back when we talked about fractions and decimals. So this decimal is equivalent to this fraction, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so we put 2 over 1,000. Let's simplify. We can divide both of these by 2, and it's 1 over 500. So as a decimal, here it is. As a fraction, here it is. So if this is a very small percent, it's going to be a very small decimal and a very small fraction. Try to write 15 hundredths percent on your own. Press play when you're ready. All right, so this one, moving it two places to the left for our decimal will give us 0 .0015. Now for our fraction, it'll be 15 over tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. All right, because that's our place value. We had 15 ten thousandths. We read that out. Um, we can divide both of these by 5. They both end in a 5 or 0. My numerator will be 3, 10,000. I'm going to check real quick to see if that's divisible by 15. And it's not. So 10,000 divided by 5 is 2,000. So 15 hundredths percent as a decimal. 0.0015. As a fraction, it would be 3 over 2,000.